Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here and another week, another major. So with the PGA Champs being moved up, um, I am just loving the season this year. It just feels like you've got massive event week on week. Uh, today's video, very simple. Who do I think is going to win? Um, oh no, before I get there, before I get to the winners, let's talk about maybe big stories of the week. Um, I think there are two. Um, first one, Graham McDowell qualifying, so he's going to be back and he qualified for the Open. So he's going with great memories, obviously that is where he got his major championship at Pebble Beach. Plus he's going to get to play his home course next month, so he's going into the event riding high. And then, and this was a surprise to me, Jason Day has Stevie Williams on the bag. And get some comments down below. Do you think Stevie Williams' presence, and you've got to remember Stevie Williams was on the bag when Tiger dominated in 2000, so that could be a really good partnership. I, I feel like with Jason Day, he kind of needs someone to light a firecracker and shove it up his... Uh, we won't finish that sentence, but I think Stevie Williams could be the guy to do that. So it will be very interesting how Jason Day gets on. And then you kind of have, I think there's four guys that go in as favourites. And I, I don't know what order they are in, but I, I think you've got Rory McIlroy. He's playing really well this season and blockbuster week and win last week at the Canadian. So... Rory's going in with loads of confidence. Uh, his long game is outstanding. Hopefully the putter will be able to kind of hold up through the week. At a major, he's not going to be able to hit it as close as he was last week. So if Rory can get the putter, he doesn't even need a hot putter. He just needs a putter that is somewhat functional. And he has got to be up there. You've got Tiger. Tiger is Tiger. He has a golf game that obviously suits there with his win at the Masters and then all of the good memories from 2000. Um, I really like Tiger for this week because the greens are small and I don't think it's going to be that demanding on his driver. Um, I was lucky enough to play Beth Page a few days ago and the rough even then was so thick. So driving, you had to be on the fairway, and that's not really what you think of Tiger. Um, if Pebble plays fast, driver isn't going to be the club that is going to determine it. It's going to be small greens and iron play. That's got Tiger written all over it. But then you do have Kepka, and I ruled Kepka out last for the PGA Champs. I said I just can't see him doing the double. He did. So I'm not going to be stupid enough to say he's not going to. But again, I would be very surprised. He can't keep winning, surely. And then you have DJ. So DJ has great memories at Pebble Beach, but he also has a horror. Last time the US Open was there, he, I think he shot 80 in the final round when he was leading. Um, I think DJ hitting that cut, um, it will suit. Pebble down to the ground. Um, he has won there in the Pro-Am. Um, if it's not playing too firm and he can be aggressive, um, DJ would be a great shout. And those guys are just so obvious. So let's pick a couple that are a little left field. Um, this one, very left field, Luke Donald. So Luke went through qualifying and got into this US Open. His iron play is it's still so strong and his short game is still so strong. I don't think the driver is going to be as essential. So I, I would be shocked if he won, but I could see him having a really good week. Um, Martin Keimer, same reason. He kind of hits the fade. Very good iron player. Um, did very well um, a couple weeks ago. So I would love to see Martin do well. But uh, get some comments down below. You've got to be excited about the US Open at Pebble Beach. You know, I am going to be glued to the TV. And uh, I'm expecting some real good golf. I could see Tiger doing it. I just, I like Tiger too much. 
Go on, get some comments down below. Who do you think is going to win? Do you think it's kind of a done deal, it's going to come out of the pack? As in those four guys? Um, Jason Day with Stevie Williams on the back? You know, that is a duo I wasn't expecting, but that could... You know, that could be that, that could be a partnership that could really be testing the field on Sunday. So get those comments down below. Even if we're wrong on our predictions, it's got to be a great event. So really looking forward to it. Hope to catch you soon.